Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today we're gonna be picking up this uh, missing oil tank here. I think we should be doing it with um, the Fleet Star. I mean, I, we've been using this for uh, most of the heavy lifting we've been doing. Um, I, I've seen people uh, mention you can do it with uh, the Scout truck, but honestly I think this is at this point, I mean, we don't have the differential on it, we have the wheels on it, I just don't want to risk it. And technically we do have access to the, you know, pre-order and um, the DLC truck, uh, the Counter-39 Marshall, which is pretty great. Uh, I mean, if you upgrade the engine, it's uh, absolutely fantastic and doesn't even cost that much. Um, and it comes with uh, great tires. Uh, I mean, it... This is what I was mentioning about, I think, a few episodes ago, where, I mean, this is literally loads better than the truck you start off with, and it just seems a bit cheating just to get this out, especially in the first map, first trial, just use this right now. So I'm not going to be using this. Uh, I'm not even going to be using the Navistar, uh, although technically I think this is about as strong as... Um, my other truck, my uh, uh, Fleet Star. Uh, I think it has by stock better tires, maybe? Well, bigger tires anyways. Um, but anyways, I'm not gonna bother with these. I'm just gonna go back to my uh, uh, tried and trusted Fleet Star. So let's do a leave garage. Oh, it's raining. That's great. And let's head out to this missing oil tank here. Uh, we have already unlocked uh, off-screen the mission, so we don't have to bother with that. Uh, so where is it? Missing oil tank. There we go. Start tracking. This is a trailer. Um, I think I... Uh, it's a trailer, not a semi-trailer. So a trailers uh, just, you know, use the regular a ball hitch or whatever uh, on the end of your truck, so I shouldn't need any special things for this. Uh, so let's just uh, make a little path here. We're gonna go via the ugh, same horrible mucky road here, which we hate, but it is what it is. And let's head down here, and then we'll see which road to take back up. Probably the hardened road if we made this bridge here last time or the time before i don't remember so let's head out mm, actually i wonder hmm, might as well uh let's go visit the trailer store uh not the trailer store not the trailer store let's uh head back uh i want to remove the um, flatbed. Uh, might as well get some extra weight off of a truck if we don't need it uh, for this. Uh, so frame add-ons, we're gonna be removing the flatbed and putting back the whatever, saddle load doesn't really matter, something that's light. I don't think we can remove... Can we remove everything from the truck? Yeah, there we go. I think this is everything removed. Yeah, bare bones truck. So yeah, let's uh, use this to get that thing out. Again, I, I don't know if this uh, amount of weight matters that much, but I think it's uh, just a nice safe bet that we... Uh... If we don't need it, don't take it. I can imagine uh, sometimes in the future where you actually may need like two of the same truck, right? To um, do like a job or something, but for this exact moment, time and space, I'm not gonna bother. Let's squeeze through here. And let's activate this all wheel drive. And oh, cute. Man, I hate this so much. This little section of road which you absolutely positively kind of always need to go on. Okay, 
let's go low range. Let's go on differential lock and let's hope that's enough. But I don't think so. But so we're gonna be doing this. I would take a different route out of here if there was one available, but... We've seen that there kind of isn't. I wish I could just throw down some uh, construction materials and get this uh, road sorted out. Oh well, I'm on auto and barely going through this. Wait, it was rainy earlier, so maybe that matters? I don't know. Uh, should I? Made the decision way too late. I was gonna go through that. Instead of seeing if uh, I get stuck or not here. Oh, where am I supposed to be going? We're going that way? Okay. Well, we're not exactly going anywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to pulse the wheels. Maybe this does like it does in real life, but I don't think so. Hmm. Thank God for these poles strapped around here. to engage the auto. And I hope that oil tanker isn't full or not that heavy. You know, I'm kind of wondering, uh, because we removed that weight, whether we actually put less pressure on the ground and that means less contact. actually makes it a bit worse for us in certain conditions, but I'm, I'm just not sure the game simulates that much. Oh, come on. We shouldn't have this much trouble here. But yet we are. Awesome. That was minus one G. Oh, 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 that's why we have trouble, just because we're scraping against a rock. Okay, noted. Well, I guess, yeah, once you don't have the flatbed, uh, that's an empty area where stuff can get in and get lodged. Because the flatbed will provide that, you know, uh, square uh, area around your uh, back of your truck, where, you know, trees and such would just scrape off of that instead of scraping off of the. Um, uh, well, not like scraping, but you know, getting stuck in between the wheel well. But I would admit this is taking us just a wee tiny bit longer than I would have expected to get there. I'm really, really, really excited for like level 6, I think it is. When I can finally get... Um, good tires for this because right now it's still using highway tires right so this is definitely not the highway and I think maybe there's some level of progression where you should have started you know doing things that didn't involve heavy trucks to begin with just until you have the not exact like experience but uh, the resources you need to get them up better for the situation but well, we're doing this. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, this will be terrible to drag the truck through, to be honest, on the way back. So let's keep on marking. Okay, so this road. This road is bad. Well, not bad, but... Eesh. Steep enough that I think we may have some issues. And oh wow, this is way, way marshy. Okay, so let's try and stick to the solid ground here. I said stick to the solid ground, goddammit. Okay, let's start doing this the hard way. These are solid trees here, but I kind of don't want to swim. Yeesh. This is marshy. Oh, well, in fourth respect, I wonder maybe I should get something lighter. Holy lighter, like an entirely light truck. Like maybe try what people said and use the Chevrolet for this, the CK1500. I mean, it's kind of fine if you, if you keep going, right? But the moment you kind of stop and dig in, well, you're lost. But it's okay, we can be lost even before that, as we can see right here. And soaking in into the mud. That's wonderful. That tree was useful for exactly 25 microseconds. Actually, I'm getting worried here because honestly. Oh. Yeah, I don't have much options. I'm wiggling my wheels. I'm trying different gears. Maybe I can inertia my way out of here. But I'm kind of skeptical. Um, okay, let's go back to low gear. Differential lock on. And let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, that. doesn't really help me in any much way. Hmm. Yeah, I know this is well and good stuck. Maybe I'm just too heavy. Should I just try the truck? Because again, we haven't even gotten out of this. Or did I just pick a bad spot? I mean, this is a marshy spot, right? I mean, this seems to be slightly more solid and maybe I should have come down this way <sighs> yeah I'm just I'm just wrecking foliage by this point okay let's try this is a pretty solid tree right let's try this terrible hold here and it's weird how with how the graphics were look this looks like a hole to eternity sometimes but it's really not anyways let's see if we can oh yeah we don't really have any options here do we I mean I can't pull myself back if I really want to. Try and get myself out of this mud. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, for sure. This is not working out. Okay, let's, let's just try see if we can get out of here altogether. Cheeky thing again. This is not working out, is it? around this tree but going through that muck isn't really something I'm looking forward to. That crumbled. We still have trees here to use. Might as well commit some deforestation. going maybe around on that side maybe that will help me a bit more although at this point I am just winching myself into eternity let's put on some lights might as well no, this is well and surely stuck if only I could be just a tiny way bit closer, that would help me. Yeah, I know for sure this is way too heavy for this muck. I mean, it's digging in really, 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 really much. Okay, I'll just give it one more shot, uh, see if... Um Maybe... Yeah, this is a lot more solid ground, but... Okay, let's switch over to daytime. This is a lot more solid ground, but honestly I don't think that's saying much, because that's in such a deep spot there. I really doubt that uh, I would be able to actually get it out even if I get there. But yeah, let's try sticking to the tree area. Maybe we can still do... Uh oh, okay. This doesn't seem too bad. And the moment I say it doesn't seem too bad, it gets worse. Okay, noted. Oh, wow. And there we went full wheels deep in this. But is it just temporary? Yeah, I think it's... Oh, wow. I'll have to go even more to the side if I want to get this solved. mud is getting any better. I can still grab myself to trees if I really really want, but that seems like it to take forever.
Okay, just by the pure sake. Can I? No, that's way too far. And minus one tree. <laughs> Still too far. Let's use this sacker point. I'm pretty sure that I some, not professional, but you know, actual experienced mud runners, spin tires, whatever, snow runners, players going like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't think I even need to use a handbrake, but I can totally carry it. Do I need to? Do I need to be there? Uh, that's gonna be annoying if I need to be there. I don't. I, I mean, in the actual mission spot. Okay, so I don't need me. Okay. Um, it would be really cool if I could hitch this instead of just doing the old. I pull myself out, then I pull it with the winch, which seems a bit uh, slow paced. Okay, can I do something silly? Let's see if I can do something silly. Because that tree has been incredibly strong up until this point. Let's see if I can do something really, really silly. Let's see if I can turn myself around on winch power. Again, I'm pretty sure there's some like experienced players going like, oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, that should be enough. Let's release the winch. And let's winch this to this. Is this enough? Is this enough? Can I attach it? Try just far away. I guess not. Okay, about now. I'm slightly cheesing this, but there we go. There we go. That worked. Good. I now have another 5 million tons attached to it. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get myself out of this. Yeah, for sure, low gear, differential lock, all that good stuff. Actually, oh, was I pressing shift? Was I pressing shift? Was it in neutral? And is that something I've been doing? I mean, it's kind of like, you know, me muscle memory for shift, for like sprinting in games. I have a very big feeling even the winch is not going to be helping me in this situation. I'd hate to... Uh... Oh, actually, wait, that works, come on. Let's not get stuck in that tree. Please, 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 you'll get stuck in the tree, won't you? Yes, you will. Okay, let's raise the winch. Uh, okay, if you want to do that quick winch, sure, do it. That wasn't very useful. I wanted you to do this. Life is pain. Can you reach that spot? Yeah, okay, that's one of those solid trees. That's a terrible idea. Okay, did that. Okay, that got you out enough. Just enough, I think, yeah, okay. I mean, that would be a problem when I went around this, and I actually should probably start going via the left side here. Please don't get stuck in that tree again. Okay, you aren't. Great. use this as an anchor point just so it allows me to pivot around a bit so I don't slam the tree head on okay that has that is working let's try the old auto maybe 
I'm greatly overestimating, but no, I'm not gravely, really gravely overestimating. Uh, running out of solid trees here, so that's a worry. Yeah, that's not gonna. And that's not gonna help me much. Uh, can I? Well, sure, okay. Uh, no, the other one. The more solid tree, which you cannot see, can you? Okay, that's not good. But as long as this gets out. Okay, pretty solid. One of those fallen trees to move ourselves just ever so slightly out. And let's try. We don't have any spots on the left side here. Man, I really should stick more to the. But I don't want to end up with the same problem I had earlier getting that trailer stuck around tree because for sure in this situation I won't have any actual options. Use that to pull the whole ensemble forward. Just have some more slack in that. Now, question is do I have enough? Yes, I do. That should be enough for me. Sure, the ground is a lot more solid on this side. And is it just me, or is is that trader dragging? Is that trader dragging? <sighs> wow, I'm making such a mess. Solid trees. Yeah, no, no, for sure not. Okay, let's try using this solid tree, which I know for sure is solid, and pulling the trailer out. I kind of want to finish this uh, little meander this episode. Don't want to. Spend two episodes getting this thing out of the mud. Okay, that thing is out. Okay, this seems like solid ground. Oh wow, we're actually moving without... That's, that's fantastic. That's actually fantastic. Uh, will I take this risk? Yeah, I guess I'm taking this risk. Going through these trees here. Smartest option just because it let me just get this trailer stuck. Hopefully, if I just go through these two trees really, really well, there we go. If I don't get stuck on that tree, which I know for sure is one of those huge solid trees, am I? Am I? Is this happening? This is happening ish. Either way, I'm not out of the muckland. I mean, I'm not even sure where, where, where am I. I'm on this side. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Uh, but either way, this is, at the very least is a solid road, so we'll go for that. Because going through this again will be entirely terrible. Uh, but it's okay, because we were already in the slightly terrible situation. Ourselves 
out. Let's use that chunky tree over there. And okay, let's let's give this auto, let's release the winch and let's hope the ground is solid enough and they here. And it is. Oh wow. This has been entirely annoying. I mean, uh, using the winch is often just, you know, a bit cheating if you're using it this much. I mean, part of the fun of the game is actually navigating the train with, you know, get some given pull in uh, the wheels and the mud, not just the brute forcing yourself with the winch, but. Well, we're doing what we're doing. Once we get back to the main road, everything will be fine. Okay, let's use low range for this, just to get enough torque to get us up. This is actually a matter of torque, not getting stuck in the mud for once. Okay, so are we going left? Well, we can go left, but I think that... Let's go right, because right, I think, is downhill. I'd rather have some downhill rather than try and pull this uphill. Like, I have to wonder, how the hell did this fuel trailer get stuck there? There's nothing there. Is this like some ancestral fuel truck that belonged to his grandfather that he has in the, has in the valley to him or something? Because for sure this is not one of the regular fuel trucks that just pass through the area. Fuel trailers, actually. <sighs> okay, and we're back on solid ground. Thankfully this is a fuel truck, so we can refuel in case we run out, because we are literally at 90 liters left, which isn't enough. Oh, whoa. Stop going so fast. I don't know what to do. I, I, I cannot drive this when it's going so fast. Okay, let's check this up and let's uh, make some uh, marks just so I know where I'm going. And okay, I can handle it from there. Baby Jesus, that was tough. And again, I think I should probably have done that with a lighter truck because this was getting entirely way too bogged down in the mud. Well, the way this is um, arranged is you have highway trucks, which is like more or less, um, I think, maximum pull made for super smooth ground. You have heavy trucks, which is this uh, Fleet Star, which is like not quite an off road truck, but uh, it's still more or less based for pulling heavy weights. Uh, and then you have uh, off-road trucks, which are technically don't have as much pulling capacity, I imagine, but uh, do much better on what we saw back there, muddy terrains. Um, and then we have, uh, well, scouts. And I, I don't have any highway trucks per se, uh, sorry, any off-road trucks per se. I'm gonna have a look at them and see what's the price ranges for them. I think that might want to be my first uh, big uh, truck upgrade. Because I don't want to be doing any more of this specifically. Just, you know, inching myself with uh, a winch. that bad. But one has to wonder, how the hell were these roads paved in like sections, right? So uh, you have like a tiny section, then you have dirt, then a tiny section, then dirt. 
someone just uh, skimping on uh, government money. Well, not that like skimping, but uh, abusing government funds. Yeah, of course we made the, the entire road. Why wouldn't we made the entire road? God bless the guy that uh, brought the materials to make this bridge. Spoiler, that's me. <laughs> Okay, and this is pretty much done. Uh, that's the fuel uh, station ahead where we have to deliver this. Don't crap on me now because I already mentioned that this would be the last of it. Just keep going, all wheel drive. Punch through this uh, turbo train. then guys so this was a bit uh, of grueling excitement let's lock this down whoop, whoop, whoop. stop show task uh, okay I have to drag it yeah I have to drag it to the white spot well I'll be you found it <laughs> I was gonna take a real roasting for losing that thing oh my god how did you lose it <laughs> Did you lose a truck? Thanks, buddy. Here's a little something for your efforts. Cool. Thank you. That's money and XP, which is well required and well needed. Um, let's also refuel this. Might as well if we're here. Not that it really matters because I think I'll be going back to the garage. Anyways, uh, that was that recovery, which was a bit more than I kind of bar bargained for, to be honest. Um... I don't know what we're going to be doing next time. Maybe we'll be taking uh, the Chevrolet out for a spin and do this uh, drainage thing. Which implies us visiting quite a few spots and getting that done. Um, actually, we have the ground fuel heavy truck here. We'll just see what we can do here with, um, with the Chevy. Actually, might as well, uh, if we're here, and if we're going to be using the Chevy, apparently, let's go customize, let's go tires. I think the only reason I didn't get uh, better tires was because, yeah, they were expensive. But I have the money now, and might as well. I'm going to be getting some big-ass tires. I don't know if uh, getting more mud on tires is worse, and you should get in smaller tires. But you know what? Given that they're the same price, I think, game-wise, it would be the same you know, thinking doyalist that the designer wouldn't put the same performance at the same price. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the biggest ones. That's a nice chunk of change, but I'm gonna be using this truck now. So might as well. Can I sell the... Yeah, I, I can totally sell this if I really want. And do I sell it for the same price I bought it from? It should be 2000 something. 2500. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, cool. So it's in in place uh, sales. You never actually lose money on anything, trucks included. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. So uh, we ran a bit long today, but thank you guys for joining up. Uh, next time we'll be doing the um, uh, pumps. Maybe getting that truck out. Maybe that uh, ground heavy truck here, maybe. And maybe we'll have enough time to actually uh, pick up this uh, Scout 800 here, which we kind of unlocked, but we didn't get to it and actually recover back to the garage. In any case, uh, if you like this episode, if you like this type of content, and if you like uh, me playing spin tires, oh, spin tires, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, snow runner, uh, please like, subscribe, and all that good uh, YouTube stuff. Even leave a comment below if you really, really like this. And this was Cosmo. I'll see you guys in the next one.